Hey family and welcome to I Love Me Me Me. Today I want to talk about your mindset and how it may be affecting you when it comes to you attracting your mate. So stay tuned. All right, so welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So first of all, let me just tell you guys where this um, conversation came from today. So I was on one of my Facebook groups and I was speaking to a guy where we're going back and forth and he was basically saying how he could not find a good black woman to be supportive of him and his dreams in the Atlanta area. He went on to further tell me how I did not under understand where he was coming from or um, anything that he was basically saying to me because I didn't live in the Atlanta area. I basically did not um, live in his shoes. I did not uh, experience what he was experiencing and blah, 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 blah. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is because I went on to tell him that a lot of it had to do with his circle that he was surrounding himself with, that he was the common denominator in all of the circles that he was putting himself in. And one of the reasons why he couldn't find his mate is because of the way he was looking at things. Because he was focused on what he could not get, that's what he was attracting to his life. Now again, he was not open and receptive to my point of view, but I'm here to let you guys know that one of the reasons why you probably are not attracting the mate that you want to attract is because of your mindset. Now just, just stick with me for a moment. When I was um, in the dating scene and I was um, looking for my own mate, <clears throat> I live in Memphis, Tennessee, and one of the things that I noticed about my time living in Memphis, Tennessee is that I never did end up with the guy that I was supposed to end up with. One of the reasons why I felt, um, one of the reasons why I really believed that this was happening, me not ended up with my mate, is honestly because I just felt like it wasn't time for me to, right? But then the second thing and the most important thing is I feel that it was my mindset. So I would go out on these dates knowing good and doggone well, my mindset was thinking, well, this is probably not going to work out, but I'm going to go. Let, let's just go see. Or he probably ain't going to be no good. Or he's probably going to do X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? Just anything that was negative is what I was bringing to my front door. Nope. I was meeting the guys that didn't want to be in relationships or that was just giving me everything that I didn't want to get. But that's what I was focused on. So I want you guys to hear me. What you focus on is what you attract in your life. You have to change your mindset and think about what you actually do want. That's what you need to focus on, what you do want. So start saying, I'm going to meet a good guy. I'm going to meet a good girl. I'm going to meet a guy that wants to be in love with me and only me. I'm going to meet a guy that is not going to cheat on me. I'm going to meet a woman that is not going to be a gold digger. I'm going to meet a woman that is going to love me for me. I'm going to meet a woman that is not necessarily going to want me for the money I have in the bank or what I can do for her. So you have to start focusing on the positive things that you want into your life because what you focus on is what you will start to attract. Again, if you only focus on the bad things that you don't want, that is exactly what you are going to get. So just think about it. Think about it in your own life. You're going out on these dates, but you're basically like, oh, that's probably not going to work out, but I'm going to go out. Oh, he's probably going to be a cheater, but I'm going to go and see where this leads. Or, I'm, uh, you know, he's probably going to live with his mama. Or he's probably going to have 15 baby mamas. That's a little bit of an exaggeration, but you get my point. And lo and behold, you go out on these dates and uh, he got three, four, five baby mamas. He lives at home with his mama. His car looks like crap. Or or she's she, she, she's buying all of these name brand items, but her bank, she ain't got nothing in the bank. Or she wants you to uh, basically break your own bank in order to make her happy. So all of the things that you are focusing on, the negative, is what you are actually attracting. So I'm here to tell you today that if you start to change your mind, focus on what you actually want in your relationships, then you will start to attract those things. Um, one quick story before I go is, uh, I live in the San Diego area now, and the black population here is pretty minuscule, y'all, okay? Let me just tell y'all how minuscule it is. It's about 3% black people in the San Diego area, and that is because the United States Navy is here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> now, just imagine it was gone. Anyway, I digress. But all of that is to say um, that me actually finding and meeting a black man here was pretty minuscule. Now, I also will say that when I when I moved out here, one of my brothers, literally one of my blood brothers, actually told me, "You're probably not gonna find a black man out here." <laughs> 
I'm here to, to discredit that statement and just to say that I always believed that I was going to be in a relationship. I always, go, I always believed that it was going to be with the brother. And guess what? I'm in a relationship and it is with a brother. <laughs> San Diego. Who would have thunk it? But all of that is because of my mindset. I knew that it was going to happen. It happened. Everything that I thought about, that I wanted, I made my list very detailed and I stuck with it. So basically what I'm talking about the list, I'm talking about the deal breaker list, right? I wrote everything down that I wanted and then I started to attract just that. So let's just say I first basically started to put out there and started to say, you know what? I want a guy that actually wants a relationship. Okay, then I will start meeting a lot of guys that want a relationship. And then I got a little bit more detail. I want a guy that wants a relationship that actually wants children. Because for a while I was meeting a lot of men that did not want children. Okay, so then I started to attract men that wanted relationships that also wanted children. Then I upped the ante. I want a guy that wants a relationship, that wants children, that obviously wants them with me, who is God-fearing, who wants to be the leader. Then I started men, meeting men that met those qualifications. And on and on and on. I always upped the ante. I focused on what I wanted versus what I did not want, and I got the things that I wanted. Now, would I say, will I say that I got 100% of what I wanted? Absolutely not, because that's not going to happen, and that's being unrealistic. However, Ever, I get a very I got a very high percentage of what I actually wanted on my list because um, I knew exactly what I wanted what I needed, and what I desire out of a relationship so again focus on changing your mindset and I know I'm saying the word change and change is hard and no I don't want to change and and is it gonna happen for me can it happen for me yes it can happen for you it is going to happen for you sit down and write out your deal breakers list uh, okay you know what I'm actually gonna give you four things that you can do to attract the type of guy or type of girl that you want now I already gave you one one was your deal breakers list so I need for you to sit down and understand exactly what you want be very 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 detailed do not focus on the superficial don't talk about the bank account don't talk about the car don't you know don't don't focus on the superficial because if you focus on the superficial that's all you're gonna get get deep down and dirty you want the treatment what type of treatment do you want what type of respect do you want uh, do you want it to be very argumentative you know get deep and down and dirty about what you want out of your mate two is to um, make some affirmations to say exactly what you want you know I am worthy of a relationship I am worthy to be in a healthy relationship I am worthy to be loved. Some things like that. Those are affirmations where you are saying them all the time until you start to believe them. In the beginning, it's going to seem silly, like, oh my God, why, why, why am I out here saying this stuff? Why am I doing this? After a while, it's going to seep deep into your mind and you are going to say, you know what? I actually believe that I deserve to be in a relationship. Not only to be in a relationship, but to be in a healthy relationship. Forget all of the things that you've seen growing up and all of the dysfunction that a lot of us seen. Forget all of that. You have the power to change your future. You have the power to change your future. You don't have to stay stuck. The third thing is to focus on the couples that you see that actually inspire you to have that type of relationship. And take it even a little bit further Go over, introduce yourself, and ask them some questions, especially the older generation, the more mature generation. They will give you some stories, okay? They will give you some stories on what it takes to actually sustain a relationship. They'll let you know. The fourth thing that you can do, I encourage each and every one of you to do this, is to make a vision board about your relationship. A vision board? Really? Did she just say a vision board? I mean, about relationship? Uh, yes, I did. This is very important because after you, basically what you do is you get these sayings or the person's body that you want to have in your life, like because you're attracted to a specific body type or the things, the treatment that you want, cut all of these things out that you see in a magazine or newspaper or whatever, put them on a piece of paper or a construction piece of paper and put it in an area where you can see this every single day. Now, what is this doing? It is penetrating your subconscious mind for you to start believing what you actually need, want, and desire. Whether you specifically just stand there and read this thing every single day, you don't even have to do that. But as long as you're out of your peripheral visit, you can see these things 
and you're walking past it, you're seeing it's like, okay, yeah, I actually do. Yeah, I, I want a woman that does this. You know what? I want a man that does this. After a while, from you seeing this, constantly seeing this, constantly seeing this, you're going to start to believe it. And every time you go out on a date, these are the things that you're going to be looking for. It's going to be subconscious because it's seeping into your brain and you're starting to rewire your brain. Now, I want you to think about these things, take them into consideration, and always make sure that you apply them to your life. Now, is there anything that I missed? I, if I missed anything that you do yourself, you put it down in the comment section below because you will be helping teach me as well as the other audience members here at I Love Me, Me, Me. Now, if this is your very first time to I Love Me, 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 I want you to make sure that you hit that icon or the red subscribe button so you can be a part of um, Team I Love Me, 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 where we are trying to dramatically decrease the divorce rate here. Furthermore, share this with any of your friends and family or just post it on all of your social media so your people can see this message because there is a lot of people out there that need to see this message. And of course, I am happy for you to do that. Lastly, I will see you in a future video. Do these things. You will see a difference. Deuces.